glorious winter's day here in Adelaide, South Australia. Do some testing of the glycogen, the pragma glycogen up the freeway. And then you definitely, unless the geometry of the bike inspires more fitness, aggressive weight loss style of, style of riding. And I'm not even said Natasha go hard, she's just, she just wants to give you a bit of gas. So that's when you know you're on a good thing. If the product you use motivates you just to want to go faster, want to go harder. Got a good pair of shoes, good bike. Just motivates you want to fucking push it. Get some fitness up. Stimulate some thyroid activity. And get it done. This bike's a winner. Why pay more? Okay, welcome to the video. Why I started a bicycle company. We have here Natasha. Natasha is my promo girl, girlfriend, partner in crime, everything. This is, I do like to test product a lot before I fully, 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 fully back it. So I've been riding these bikes for a few months now and I've built one up from Natasha and she's also, this is really crazy, man. We ride the exact same seat height to the millimeter. It's crazy. Even having it slam forward like that. So she does though have a shorter stem and shorter stack height. So anyway, I'm a bit like, you know, I buy a bike for Natasha, but I don't buy it for myself. But she is cool with him because she can ride at the same seat height. So I've been riding these bikes last few months. I uh, bought two bikes here to tie in. I've got this one here, which is called the Pragma Glycogen, which I source from a very well-known company in China. And I sell it at a price that no one else can sell it for because I shift a lot of volume and they give me a wholesale price. I put a minimal markup on it and then I sell it. Uh, I flip it on sell it to people my audience, my customers, my friends, people who just love a high-performance bike. The other bike I have is the Nove, aka Naive, aka Light Carbon LCR007, which is also a very nice bike, a very nice bike. I have been banned from selling those, so, so you can you can probably get one through Light Carbon for, you know, 700 bucks or Nove or whoever for, you know, two and a half grand or whatever, but I can't get you one anymore. I'm sorry, that, that, that avenue has shut down. Um, which is fair enough. I, I did expect that sort of controversy. That's what I sort of gravitate towards with my style of being totally fucking honest and transparent with people. Um, I do prefer my frames personally. The geometry is exactly the same down to the millimeter and degree. I love that Super 6 uh, Cervelo, original Cervelo R5 before they got all built for bankers and stuff, like the original R5s and stuff. That And Merida Sculptura CF4, CF5 race geometry is really... It's a long, low, with a steep seat angle, 73.5 in the 54 centimeter bike. So it's just really you're over that BB, you're, you're low, you're, it's, it's an aggressive climbing bike. Uh, for touring, it's probably not the best bike, but you could make it adapted for touring by flipping the stem and shifting your seat back. That will slacken off the seat angle and be a bit more relaxed. But for climbing, you know, generally you have that seat slammed forward. And you see that in all the pros, Contador, Valverde, Lance, they have the seat pretty much slammed forward. And they have a steep, a bike with a steep seat angle, 73.5 or 70, 74 even. It's very, very rare someone does well on a 72.5 uh, bike, which is what my TCR used to have. And that was a great bike, and it handled really, really well, it was super stiff. But climbing, there was just something missing. And then when I got into the 73.5 seat, seat post bikes, I was like, ah, oh, that's what it was, that more forwards thing. Because you know, on my TCR, the seat always slammed forward. Again, it's personal preference. It's personal preference. And the new, the new TCR has 73 and 73.5. So the old one, even though it's a fantastic bike and I rated it, yeah, the seat angle was a bit more slack. It was a good all-day bike, though. Very relaxed. And so I've got these bikes. And let's talk about the design. What's the deal? Did I design these bikes? No. But I selected these bikes to put in my shop at drewnrider.com. And I selected, you know, what's the best design. And the best design is, in my opinion, it is the BSA bottom bracket. Or, next best would be press fit. These are just low maintenance designs and they're very, very user-friendly serviceable. If you've got a BSA bottom bracket, BSA is the most easy-to-use bottom bracket design ever created for the bicycle. It's so simple. It's so cheap. It's very, very light. It's just a fantastic design. But, often people want something more fancy, so they're People go BB30 and all this stuff, which can be a little bit lighter, but can also be clicking and creaking more. So on my personal bike, I use BSA or press fit. I do recommend the BSA though. And on my gravel bike, which is coming very, very soon, which I currently am selling, again, it's a tested, proven design. I haven't just gone to China and grabbed some random 
open mold or just said, hey, make me a bike like this, you know, I've said, okay, what's the most, you know, safe? It's got to have, it's got to have safety. You know, I wanted a design that's safe, that's tested, that's proven, that has all the A grade comments on the forums, etc. And so I sourced that that design, and and I've sourced it from a company that makes it really, really well, and they make bikes for other brands, which I'm not really allowed to say. But if you're paying attention, you can sort of see very similar bikes like this. Um, but let's just say they do make the companies that I use uh, in China, which I use three different companies. They all make bikes for very well-known brands, and some of those brands are racing the Tour de France. Some of those brands are very popular on the internet, and some of those brands are very, very popular on Instagram. But part of my contract is that they can tell me this stuff, and I can see proof of that, but I'm not allowed to go and blab a mouth all over social media. Hey, you know, your Itali Italian bike is made in China, you know, blah, 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 blah. And that, that's the whole deal why I got cut from light carbon in terms of being a frame because I was blabbing I was saying hey we're well, hanging Nov's getting their bikes from light carbon they're not two and a half grand US worth in my opinion they're you know they're five six seven hundred eight hundred dollar US worth bikes but so my big mouth that I lost my contract there with the uh, well didn't mean to actually have a contract there was this there was no negotiations I was like nah sorry mate we ain't gonna sell to you so that's the thing so you can see here in attached to the great angle it's beautiful lighting isn't it she's a beautiful bike model she's very very just very very aesthetic as very aesthetic rider and, and relatively a noob rider as well you can tell there's, there's ways you can improve, uh, as we all can. But you can see that, see that, that uh, the angles of the bike just sits really, really well. That was a great lighting before. It's all about the lighting. So Natasha's riding a 54, which is a good size for her, but she's not really used to you know being really hunched over on a bike. So she is very much a noob still. And even getting the drops there, it looks reasonably comfortable, but you can see her eyes are sort of pointing down. They're not really, her neck flexibility is not the best. And so she would prefer probably a 56, so a little bit more stack height there, which I have a new model bike coming very soon that's based around a basically copy of the Trek Amonda SL, SLR H2 fit. It's the same weights, similar weights, but it doesn't have that dicky seat post design that can fail on you. And so all my bikes that come with a 27.2 seat post, which again, which is really fantastic, because let's say you crack that on a holiday, you pull your bike out of the, the bag and it's cracked, or you have a crash, or you hit a dog, or heaven forbid... Someone falls on your bike and you cracks your seat post. You can go to any bike shop and get a 27.2. 27.2 seat post is the most common seat post on the planet for road road bikes. And so I've designed it that way, so you're not going to be stranded. Also, the if you notice the seat clamp there, I had some issues with the seat post slipping. The seat clamp was too light, and so I was told to the factory. I said this is just too light. You know, like it's it's not holding the seat post. So I went out and bought like a a heavier one for like I don't know, is it four or five bucks here in Malaysia. And it fixed the fixed the seat post slipping issue. So now all the new frames get shipped with a seat post collar that doesn't slip. But again, that was a very simple fix. If that was like an integrated seat post design, oh my god, can you? That's such a hassle. That's why I don't think I'll ever sell a bike on my main product line that has an integrated seat post uh, design because it's, if it fails, you, that's that's the frame in the bin. That's landfill. Carbon should be going to landfill. Should be getting repaired or fixed to a degree. It depends if it's carbon bars, obviously. So there you go. That's a little bit of a deal there. These frames ride fantastic. This is our little feral cat here. So you can see a different... That's the color pink as well. I do recommend don't park your bike in bright sun. I mean, you can ride it in bright sun, but if you're going to park your bike anywhere, park it in the shade. That goes for any carbon fiber product. You should never be parking carbon stuff in the sun. It can heat the epoxy. It can delaminate stuff. It can make things fade prematurely. Please don't park your bike in the sun. You can ride in the sun, but parking it in the sun, always park in the shade. That's also true for rubber as well. Rubber, saddle, bar tape, your hoods. Do your best to park things in the shade, all right? Be, be sort of militant about that, and you'll get a lot better longevity. Anyway, that's a little quick video. Just wanted to share. You know, if you want one of these frames, they're selling really, really well. The factory is just like crazy surprised. And uh, durinod.com for more information. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. And we'll get through them. And thanks for all the support. This is, I never thought I'd ever be a CEO of a bike company. And it sounds crazy, but it's definitely true.